Hello and welcome, I'm Bertha Stormtrooper and today we're going to be doing another unboxing and this is going to be kind of like the Ghostbusters unboxing part 2 because um, I got another package from my buddy Joey. Now Joey was the guy that I got the Firehouse and the Ecto-1 that I did an unboxing of recently and I've also done a review of the Ecto-1 so if you want to go check that out, it's over here somewhere I think, so check that out. So, um, Joey and I were going back and forth. He had his entire collection up for sale. And uh, I was kind of like, hey, um, what about this and what about that? And we're just kind of picking back and forth. Let me, let me see this guy. Let me see that guy. And then out of just out of the blue, I figured, what the heck? Just let me go crazy here. How much for the whole thing? And, uh, and you know, he gave me a number. We went back and forth. And uh, he hooked me up. So I ended up buying his entire collection. So we're gonna be doing, I got two packages from him and I'm gonna start doing an unboxing here and uh, we're just gonna go over everything that I got. I got a really nice collection. I've got all the pictures that he sent me and everything. So we've got a really cool Ghostbusters collection coming up, coming up here. So uh, get ready for the Ghostbusters unboxing part two. Okay guys, so I'm gonna have to do something a little different here. Uh, as I'm going through the unboxing, this is kind of like take two of this unboxing here. So um, what happened was, as I started unboxing everything, um, I was showing it off to the camera. I was taking things out of the box and showing them off to the camera and setting them over here on my review table. Um, well, it, it started to get uh, to be a very, very long video. And I don't want to bore you guys with an extremely long video as I'm picking everything out one at a time it just uh um i i can get carried away sometimes and i like to talk um as you guys probably know that so as i'm picking everything out of the box i'm holding it up and i'm kind of yeah, yeah this is what this is or whatever and it started to get to be a very very long video so much so that i got to the limit of the recording time that my camera gives me so the camera actually stopped recording and I've, I already had most of this stuff out, you know, as I was taking it out of the box and showing it off, I would set it up on the table. So I'm not going to repack everything and try to do a, 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 a faster unboxing. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and laid everything out right here on my review table. And I'm going to move the camera over and just kind of do a POV shot of everything. Just, hey, look, I got this and this and that. And uh, that should help in both that I don't have to <laughs> repack everything and unpack it and also um, and the fact that it'll make for a little bit of a shorter video because, I, like I said, I don't want to go terribly long with this unboxing. So, everything is right here. I'm going to move the camera. We're going to get a closer look. Okay, guys. So, here we are with everything out on the table and uh, ready to show off. This is uh, this is weird for me. This is a new angle for me. So, we'll see how this goes. Uh, maybe this will become a thing later. I don't know. But, uh, so, here's, here's everything that I got in the two packages from Joey. And, uh, man, it's a lot of stuff. So, we'll just get started right away. Uh, I got some really cool stuff. This is a lot of stuff I had mentioned earlier that uh, in one of my previous videos that uh, as a kid, my little brother and I, we were huge in the Ghostbusters. We were like super fans. We couldn't get enough of the movie. That was one of the most watched movies that I had as a kid. And, uh, and of course, a cartoon. We never missed it on Saturday mornings. But when it came to the toys, we really only had uh, the four original Ghostbusters. Uh, he had two and I had two. And then he had the big Slimer and I had Marshmallow Man. That was about it. So when it came to the vehicles and the play sets and some of the other ghosts and stuff like that, we never really got any of these. So this is my first experience with a lot of these, much like the uh, Ecto-1 and the Firehouse were. Those were my first experience with those. So a lot of these, this, this is, all of this, actually, this is new for me. So I'm experiencing these for the first time. So the first thing I got here that I'm really excited about is the Ecto-2. And this guy is complete. Uh, except for the seatbelt. He's missing the seatbelt. Other than that, it, this is complete. It works when you uh, when you press on the trigger, the little uh, propellers spin around and then you can uh, lock in the clamp and you can pull the clamp down and then, uh, in fact, we'll go ahead and do it real quick. So you can pull the clamp all the way down and then you can lock this in. So then what happens is when you press on the trigger, the blades are gonna spin and also it's gonna pull up that little clamp right there. So you can pick up ghosts or you can pick up uh, fellow Ghostbusters if they're in need or anything like that. So it's really, really cool. And we'll go ahead and get that unlocked again because uh, my, my youngest daughter, she likes to come in here and play with this and spin the propellers around and whatnot. And this guy transforms, which is really cool because the idea was 
that this guy was kept in the back of the Ecto, so you could actually close this up and then the propellers would lock up like that. They'll fold up and lock up like this, and now it's a little, like a little buggy. And the idea was in the cartoon, this guy would roll out of the back of the Ecto, and they could drive it around like this, and then it would transform, and uh, the sides would pop out in the wings, and you would fold out the propellers, and now you had like a little flying vehicle that you could go flying around in. So that's really cool. I'm really excited about this. So that's the Ecto. Two, and then also I got the Ecto-3, which is uh, looks nothing like, and the, the Ecto-2 kind of passes as like an Ecto vehicle, but this one I don't think really does. It's more like a little go-kart buggy kind of thing, but it's really, really cool and I really like it a lot. You got the little flag up here. And then you have like these fly swatter pieces that come down and he comes with this ghost. So you the, the ghost is kind of running around and you have to try and catch this ghost and what you do, is you press on the muffler pieces right here and the little fly swatter pieces just kind of close up. So you can use those to catch your ghost and I knocked out one of the mufflers here. So that guy just pops right back in there. So you can use these to kind of uh, catch your ghost right there. And uh, I suppose he would roll him back and put in a trap. I, I really don't know. Um, like I said, uh, my first experience with a lot of these. So that's, that's new for me. So there you go. There's the uh, Ecto-3 with the ghost. And then also, this guy right here, this was the Ecto Sweeper. Uh, not the Ecto Sweeper, this was the Ghost Sweeper. And it came with this little ghost right here. And this guy is really cool because what this guy does is as it rolls around, you've got these uh, uh, these these wheels right here in the front. They look like little, uh, almost like car wash brushes. And what they do is as, as you would roll around, you see you got your little antenna up here that spins. And then you've also got the little door right here that opens and closes. And these guys would spin, and as you would roll, you could uh, go after this ghost or any of the other smaller ghosts that the rest of the figures would come with. But you could actually, the, the vehicle actually grabs them and pulls them in, and it's kind of like a little trap. And then you can also, you've got, you've got your little pegs back here, so you can grab a figure and mount it up here so you can be driving. And then you've also got the wand right here with a proton stream coming out of it so you could shoot at ghosts while you were trying to catch them. You can, I guess you would you would shoot at them and, and hold them while the, uh, the the sweeper would actually grab them in. So uh, that guy's a little bent obviously so I'm gonna apply some heat to that and try to straighten that out. But there we go. There's the uh, the ghost sweeper which is really really cool. Um, really cool little uh, vehicle. I really missed out on these guys when I was a kid. Um, down, down the way here we've got a, a just real quick just showing them off. Wicked Willy. So this guy is uh, one of the haunted vehicles. The little driver transforms into a ghost and so does the scooter. So then you get two ghosts out of this. So that's Wicked Willy. And then over here you've got Air Sickness. And Air Sickness is pretty cool because you've got like this little glider, like little propeller glider thing here. So this guy would be flying around. And then this would also transform and you can get four ghosts or you can combine them to make a uh, different kind of ghost out of this. So the figure transforms into a ghost. The little cart transforms into a ghost. The wings transform into a ghost. And the engine is also its own little ghost. So like I said, you get four ghosts there. Or you can make little combinations. Like you can put the wings on the back of the, the, the uh, figure. And make it like a ghost with wings kind of thing. Or you can put the engine on the back of the figure. Or you know, you can like, kind of mix and match and combine them and uh, either make four ghosts or a combination thereof, which is really, really cool. This guy right here is the Highway Hunter. Uh, and this guy, I really, really dig this guy for several reasons. Uh, I think I've mentioned uh, on, on some video here before that my first car was a yellow Volkswagen Beetle. That was my first car. My second car was a blue Volkswagen Beetle. My third car was a red kind of Beetle. I mean, the Volkswagen is huge in the Volkswagen. So, um, this guy is uh, really, really cool that I found this guy. Now, uh, a few weeks ago, I went to a local toy show and I found a Highway Haunter that I bought brand new in the box. So when I bought this collection, I actually told Joey, hey, um, I'll, I'll take everything except the Highway Haunter. He went ahead and threw it in anyway. So Joey, thanks again so much. I've got two of these guys now. And you know what? I can't get enough of this guy. So that's, that's all right. And uh, so yeah, so the Highway Haunter is a little yellow bug. And I love this, that you can actually open the back and it has an, a, a fairly accurate Volkswagen engine in the back. And then when you turn it around, he's a little ghost as well. Uh, so I really dig that. That's pretty cool. And 
um, the idea is that in the cartoon, the just pop that guy back in the face. In the cartoon, Janine drove a Volkswagen bug. That was her car. Um, it's not this. I, I don't know if this is necessarily supposed to be her car or not. But you always saw in the commercials and the toy commercials they had the Ghostbusters driving this thing, and you actually have two slots back there where you can put proton packs. You can actually take proton packs, two proton packs, and slide them back there, and it would hold them. And even when you transform the vehicle, it will still hold. It will hold the vehicles and uh, the figures, and it'll hold the proton packs. So maybe it is supposed to be her vehicle. Who knows? But uh, yeah, you can uh, you can just pop two figures right in there, put your proton packs in there. And then when you press on the top of the seat rest right here, he's going to transform and he's got like this uh, praying mantis sort of ghost uh, figure here. <laughs> it's really cool. I really dig that. It's a transforming both sides ghost and uh, that is all right with me. So there's uh, this Highway Hunter with his ghost. So, you know, most of these are all complete and uh, wow, I'm having to reach out really, really far. So um, getting into some of the figures here, uh, just started right here in the back. I got most of the haunted humans. Um, so you've got the, uh, uh, and, and I don't know all the names right off the top of my head, so you have to excuse me. Um, I, I can look them up, but I, I don't want to stop the video, go look it up or whatever. So, so you've got the football player guy right here that would just kind of bend over and turn into a ghost, just like that. So I got this guy. Uh, the next guy over here is the construction worker. And the construction worker would like flip around like that and have a little monster face and then like his feet would pop out and he would have little wings that popped out as well so he's got like a little ghost or monster or whatnot so there you go there's him and uh, <laughs> i love the tongue the little the little um construction head on the back you can pop it in and out and you've got a little tongue that comes in and out so that's that's really really funny i like that a lot um so there's him and then you've got the garbage man over here and uh, what this guy does is the garbage can would just flip up and over and uh, he would have like this little bug head that comes out and he's got these little mandibles that come out of his uh, belly right there. And then on the sides of the legs, he's got these, these are really difficult to get out. In fact, I'm gonna need like a little screwdriver or something to get these out. But he's got these wings that pop out, much like the, uh, much like you just saw on the construction worker. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna need, I'm, I'm gonna need something to pry these out with. Okay, so I was able to finally use something to pry them out. And there you go. I just wanted to show you the wings real quick. So there's a little ghost form right there, which is pretty cool. I, like that. I dig that a lot. And I guess I'm going to have to do a little bit of cleaning in there because these wings get stuck in there. So just for the time being, I'm not going to push them in all the way. I'm just going to leave them out a little bit. Just like so. Um, let's see. Haunted humans, haunted humans. So here we go. We have the uh, little mailman dude right here. <laughs> this guy's hilarious. You pull his pants down. And uh, he transforms just like that and then you can you get this whole spring-loaded chomping action but i think it's hilarious that he to pull his pants down to transform them so there's the uh the mailman guy I, again i don't know the, all the names of these guys um i know this one this is granny gross i know her uh, she was probably one of the most popular of the haunted humans so um you turn her hat and you pull her open and then the next one is a little monster goes right there she does a little chomping action if you push down on her head there you go, very cool, little granny girls. I think that's the only one of the haunted. Actually, I know, off the top of my head, I know the name of two of the haunted humans. Granny Gross, and then X-Cop, which is the one I don't have. <laughs> so, um, I got almost a full set of the haunted humans right there. X-Cop's the only one that's missing. Uh, so, moving on, uh, from the first series of the ghosts. I believe these are all first series. I might get some of these wrong. Uh, so, I got this guy right here. I think this guy's called Bad to the Bone. So this guy has like this little spring-loaded chest so you can like drop his head right in camera. Um, the joint on the head's a little loose. I'm gonna have to tighten that up. There you go. And you can get with some of the Ghostbusters and, and the idea was that they would, he would trap them right there in his rib cage, just like so. And um, he's also got this little spring-loaded feature, a lot like the front feature. So if you pull down on his, on his jaw right there, his eyes will pop out kind of in that little scary look right there, which is really, really cool. And the arms are articulated. The bones right here for the legs are also articulated. So you can pull them and whatnot. So that's pretty cool. That's uh, bad to the bone. And then from the, uh, again, from the first series of ghosts, I'm kind of trying to have some kind of order here. I think I would have placed them on the table in that order, but I wanted something nice that I could take a picture of too, so. Uh, this guy's cool. I remember this guy from when I was a kid. I never had him. 
but this is the H2 Ghost. And this is uh, two ghosts, actually. You can take these, uh, the top of this apart, and you get these two ghosts. And these are also water squirters. Wa water squirters, my tongue stuff. So you can put these inside of water and just squeeze them until they got filled up with water. And then you could uh, squeeze them and spray water at the Ghostbusters or at your little brother or whatnot. So there you go, there's the H2 Ghost. And then um, I think these guys were also from the first series of Ghosts, I think. Uh, this guy was, uh, what was this guy called? Uh, Pull Speed Ahead. I remember that one, Pull Speed Ahead. And this guy was one of those ripcord toys. Uh, he's got a wheel right here on the bottom. And he's got the slot right down here. And I did not get the uh, the ripcord for this guy, unfortunately. But I'm sure I can find something that I can use. So you would put the ripcord through here and he would pull it out. And then he would spin. And then he also has a flint on the inside. And I don't think that it's going to work on this guy anymore. It's just that old. Um, it doesn't seem to be holding up against the stone. Um, and, th and there are no screw holes or anything on here. So there's no way I can open this without destroying it. So I'm not even going to try. But the idea was there's a flint and stone inside there. So when you would pull the ripcord, this guy would spin. And he would spit out sparks. And then you would put him on the table and he would roll and knock over your figures or whatever. So he could attack the Ghostbusters that way. Which is really, really cool. And I really dig that mold. Check that guy out. Just, just, just a hilarious, hilarious ghost. Um, I'm not sure that... Oh, the knee fell. Uh, we're going to be getting into these uh, Ghostbusters figures here in here shortly. Um, this was like a basic ghost, but I'm not sure if this was first series or later. But uh, you got the little. The, uh, this is also another popular, popular ghost with the line is the the, the toilet. I, I, you have to excuse me. I don't know. I don't remember the name off the top of my head again. But um, you got this little cool toilet, and I really dig this guy because I'm gonna, I'm gonna be putting this guy inside of the uh, the firehouse. I think it's gonna look awesome inside the firehouse. So the idea here was that you would roll this guy along. He's got little wheels on the bottom, and you could roll him along, and he would transform into his little ghost, and you could attack the Ghostbusters that way. And he could also do it back and you know he could back him up. He do it as well. So this is hilarious. I love this guy. That's so so funny. So that guy that guy's gonna be going into the firehouse. Uh, some of the other ghosts that I got here, this guy is funny. Um, now this guy is kind of like a little, this is similar to the, the little Neutrona wand popper that came with the goggles. It had like a little, if you got the Ecto goggles, there was like a little, um, the wand from the proton pack, but it was tiny and it was rubber and it had these little pieces that you put in and you would squeeze them and they would pop out and you would shoot them that way. So this guy is kind of the same way, but it's a ghost. Now, this guy came with two of these little ghosts right here. You would get three ghosts in this pack. I only got this one. I only got these two, so I'm sure one ghost. But the idea here was that you would put this guy in his mouth, and I don't know how I'm going to do this without not going to have these things over, but we'll see. I'm going to shoot at the water. So you would squeeze him, and this guy's supposed to pop out, and you would shoot him that way and knock over some of your figures just like I did with Winston just now. So we'll get Winston standing back up, and as you can see, it still shoots really well and it's got quite a bit of force behind it and i don't know if winston's gonna stay up he's a, he's a little loose like it does so yeah that's really really neat like i said he came with two ghosts in case you lost one did you still use the other so and that might have been what happened here i don't know so there's this guy that guy's really really cool and then these guys right here are awesome these came in a set these two came together in a set just like this now these were the mini gooper ghosts there was earlier in the series there was a gooper ghost that were like these bigger ghosts that you could put the slime inside and they were like, you could trap the Ghostbusters and put them inside the ghost and they would be all covered in slime or whatever. Well, these guys are kind of like smaller versions of those. It's, so they would come in the two packs. So you would open these guys up and then you would put slime in there. And I guess you could trap the Ghostbusters or you know, kind of dunk them in there or whatever. So that's what those guys were. They were like little mini goopers. And then what's also cool about these guys is that you can mix and match them. So you can take them, put the top of one with the bottom of the other and the other way around so you could kind of make your own little custom ghosts as well you can just mix and match them it's a shame that he fell he rolled out <laughs> away from the table um it's a shame that those were the only two that came out and i wonder if there was ever plans to come out with more of these guys so that you could mix and match them and make all kinds of different ghosts I don't know if that was ever a plan. That would have been cool if they did that. But as it is, we'll go ahead and get this guy. I got this guy picked up. Uh, but as it is, those were the only two that came out. So it would have been fun to see more. 
Uh, so moving on, you've got the little ghost traps right here. These guys also came in a set. These two came together. And these guys are cool because what you would do is you would open them up all the way and they would click just like that. We'll do it again with this guy. There you go. And then they would just stick, hold that right there. And then the idea was that you would set these out as traps for the Ghostbusters. So when the Ghostbusters was coming along, if they stepped on the wrong spot, these would shut down and you know they would clamp down and trap the Ghostbusters just like that. <laughs> just like that. So I think those are pretty cool, fun little ghosts right there. Um, I also got the, let's see, we'll put this guy back here. And uh, yeah, see, these guys are gonna start falling over. So I may just, uh, as they fall over, I may just leave them that way. Uh, so getting to the end of the ghosts here, um, this guy was just kind of like a little bonus. This is actually a repaint of the ghost that came with the Fright Features Ray right here. Uh, but the only difference is that this guy glows in the dark. So this a lot of the, a lot of the figures, as they came out in the later um, editions, some of the later versions of the figures, they always came out with these little simple uh, basic ghosts. But then for some of the later releases, they would repaint them and reuse them uh, for the characters again. So this was a repaint that came out for the glow in the dark Ghostbusters, which obviously I don't have. Uh, but this ghost glows in the dark and my daughter loves this guy. She, well, I told her, hey, go in the bathroom, shut the, light, shut the door and shut the light off and see what happens. Totally just digging this guy, really, really cool. So that's a cool little bonus, I got that in there. Um, I've got two Slimers, which are really exciting. So this first Slimer right here, uh, this was one of the uh, Gooper ghosts that came out with uh, early on in the series. So this guy was cool because you could get the you could get the slime and what you would do is you would fill up this backpack with slime. And he had this little plunger. Now I don't have the plunger, but he had a plunger, you would squeeze down on the plunger and he would kind of like uh, spit out the, the slime or the ooze. So you could attack the Ghostbusters and just kind of puke on them, <laughs> which is really, really funny. Now you can also take off the backpack just like so and you can just put slime right in the back of him there and just kind of use your finger to push it out and just get the Ghostbusters that way. So that's really, really cool. And it's such a cool mold of Slimer. Check that out. He looks just like the Slimer in the cartoons. So that's really, really cool. Really enjoying that. And then the other Slimer that I got is this guy right here. And then this Slimer has a little proton pack on him. And he's got this little, see the little uh, wire going around there with his wand. So this, and uh, he's also got a little Ghostbuster symbol on his sleeve right there. So this uh, this Slimer is joining the gang and becoming a Ghostbuster himself. So that's really, really cool. And then he's also got that Fright Teacher um, little gimmick on him. You pull down on his jaw, you can see his eyes. Actually, you would, you would uh, press down on his arm. I'm doing that wrong. So if you press his arm in, his uh, mouth opens up and his eyes pop out and it just kind of gives him that scared look. And you know that Slimer in the cartoon is always being scared of things. So there you go. That's really funny. Cool little Slimer figure right there. Um, so that's going to be about it for the ghosts. And uh, moving on into the figures themselves. Um, this guy, I only got one of him, so I'll show him off first. Um, this is Winston, and this is from the Power Pack series. So this guy came. These guys are all complete, uh, which is really nice. They all have their... their their uh, accessories and their ghosts, which is really nice. So this guy comes with this ghost, which splits into two, it becomes two ghosts. And then he's also got this pack right here. And what this pack would do, unfortunately the clip is broken on this guy, so I can't really show it off properly, but this pack would plug in into the back right here. And then he would have this thing that would swing up and over his head. And he had these little handles on the front here he could grab. And he had like this, uh, <laughs> this circular saw thing that I guess would be used to attack ghosts. So I'm gonna see if I can uh, boil and pop this guy open and uh, see if I can uh, maybe construct a new pen for him and uh, try and fix him that way. But uh, but yeah, so there it is, there's a uh, Power Pack Winston. And like I said, that was the only one of the Power Pack figures that I have. Now, I do have a Power Pack uh, Ray that I found at a, um, at a flea market recently. Uh, but it's just the figure alone. I think I picked, picked them up for like a buck or two. And it's just the figure, no pack, no ghost or anything like that. So, but I got, I got the, the two there. Um, so going into the Ghostbusters, uh, I'll see if I can do this in the order that they came out in. So starting out right here, these these five guys, because I'm including Jimmy and these. These are the Fright Features Ghostbusters. And again, these are complete. They have all their, their accessories and they have all the little ghosts. So I've got the, the Fright Features guys, the ones that would like get scared, like Winston right here, you press on him and 
his head spins and his mouth opens just like that. So, you know, and then show them up like they were getting scared and just with the smooth goes. So I got all five of these guys. This is a full set with all their accessories and all the ghosts. And Winston doesn't want to stand up now. Come on, stand up for me. So Winston, Peter, Ray, uh, Egon, and uh, Janine. So just real quick to show them off real quick. There's his head, uh, his hair goes up and his eyes pop out and his mouth opens with uh, Ray. We'll get Ray up here. And with Ray, um, his uh, head gets blown out and his ears pop out, and then his eyes get real big. I like this mold of Ray because he's got the echo goggles on. Uh, with Eglon right here, you squeeze Eglon's arm, and his uh, his tie blows up. I think that's hilarious that his tie stands up. And then his neck gets long, and his uh, like his head, the whole head pops up, and then his mouth opens up, and he's just looking all scary. And then finally with Janine, uh, Janine, I really dig this Janine. So Janine has a pink suit, which, which I absolutely love. You, you tur turn her arms up, and her hair gets blown up. Her eyes pop out of socket, and her mouth opens. Up. So that's 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 kind of funny right there. But what I really dig about this figure is a the fact that she has a really cool looking pink Ghostbusters suit, which is really really cool. And then I also dig this because this was a big risk to take in the '80s with uh, a, basically what was considered to be a boys' toy line. Um, first off, the fact that they put out Janine, um, many of the toy lines that we had in the 80s were missing the female character because um, the toy makers were just convinced that boys did not want to pick up the female characters because they're dollies and they don't want to play with dolls. So uh, it was very rare to get the female figures for, the, yeah, the female characters for our collections back in the 80s. So the fact that Ghostbusters put out not just one, but I think there was three or four different Janines. I have three Janines on this table right now. Um, that is amazing. That was just uh, such a cool jump to do something different back then. Not only that, but if you look at Janine right here and you look at her ghost, her weapon is kind of like this little brush and her ghost has like this little Barbie style of hair. So you could actually get uh, uh, her weapon and you could like trim, you know, kind of like do her ghosts hair or whatever this was a huge risk to take for a, a boys line in the 80s and i absolutely love the fact that they did it uh, that's really really cool maybe they were trying to bring girls in with this because of the little hair accessory and the ghosts and whatnot i don't know but the fact that it's there i think it's awesome that's really really cool that's there so that's that's the fright features right there uh over here on the back real quick these are the uh the screaming heroes so what these guys do is that they all have these little spring-loaded um, features. And uh, I'll just show off one real quick. And I think the one that sounds the best is, uh, he's, he's having trouble standing up. I'll show off Egon because Egon, I think, had the best of the uh, of these gimmicks. So um, they all come with, those, with these uh, little accessories and whatnot. Egon has like this little, I don't know if it's a gun or a sensor or whatever. Um, uh, this. This is worth showing to Peter here. Peter comes with a trap. So I'm gonna just show off this real quick because I think this is worth showing. This is not an accessory that was common with the Ghostbusters. Peter came with an actual ghost trap, which is really, really cool. Uh, it's kind of a must have for the Ghostbusters collection. So he's got the little trap and then Egon has his little PKE needle right there, which is really, really cool. But the, the gimmick with these figures, I'm gonna take that off real quick is these all have these spring-loaded gimmicks, so uh, these wind-up gimmicks. So what you would do is, uh, I'm gonna spin him around with Egon in here. They all do different things, but Egon, you just kinda, am I going this, this way am I going? I'm going the wrong way. So what you would do with Egon is you would spin around his torso, and you could hear that spring winding up, and then it still starts clicking just like that. So once you get them all wound up, they each came with these little ghosts. Now what happens is, if, if I spin them around like this right now, it just sounds like a spring uh, being unwound. Uh, but you can see you just click on the little thing on his on his belly there. It releases the spring and the, uh, the spring loaded gimmick just activates. So I'm going to wind them up one more time. And then you would take these ghosts that they would come with. These guys will actually just plug into either the back or the front of them. Uh, with Peter, he plugs into the front. I think the rest of them all plug into the back. And then you would uh, press this. What this does is it creates kind of like a little echo. So when you activate the gimmick it's supposed to sound like he's screaming 
And, uh, and I think it's really cool. And Egon, um, his ghost just sounds the best out of all of them, out of all the five figures here. Uh, he sounds the best, so I wanted to show him off because it just really kind of does sound like it's screaming a little bit. You gotta use your imagination. So there's um, those are the screaming heroes real quick. And again, worth showing is the fact that they have, again, a Janine figure, which is really, really cool. And she comes with a little cell phone because you know, Janine always picked up the phone. So there she is, there's Janine. There's a full set. I've got all, all five, the four Ghostbusters plus Janine, all with their accessories and all with their ghosts. So that's really, really cool. And then the last guys here, uh, these are the Super Fright features. And again, these guys are complete, all four Ghostbusters and Janine, uh, with their accessories and their ghosts. And what these guys would do is that they had these uh, little gimmicks that would look like they were screaming. Um, yeah, like they, like they were being scared, but this guy, these, these took them to a whole new level. These guys were in like these little, um, almost like spacesuits kind of looking things. So with Winston, it's pretty funny because when you scare him, his head drops down and then a super scared head comes out of his chest right there. So that's really cool. And, uh, and again, of note with these figures, with this set right here, I just want to point out Janine because she kind of spans out from the rest of these guys. I think she's really, really cool. So Janine is kind of like a water themed figure. And, uh, She's got her, her little weapon, it's kind of like a fishing hook right here, you can see the reel, you can see the hook. And her ghost that she comes with is like this little uh, ghost fish right here that you can actually capture with your hook, much like you're fishing, uh, which is really, really cool. And then also, if you look in her helmet, when you activate the feature for her, for her fright feature, it looks like the helmet is filling up with water and there's like the little hunted uh, fish right in there. And then her eyes pop out because she's being scared. So I really think that that was very noteworthy because the, the Janine figures do really, really cool. And again, just the fact that they were putting out female figures for the uh, for an 80s boys toy line was really, really cool. Real quick, we'll show off the rest of these guys. Here's Egon in his suit. And then uh, his head pops open and he's all scared right there. And it looks like the aliens are trying to get into his head. Um, with uh, Peter right here. His uh, head pops out and he looks like, this is very similar to the Ray from the regular uh, Fright Features where his head just kind of pops out and uh, his eyes get real big and scared. And uh, where's Ray? Speaking of Ray, and as I'm getting to the end of this, I'm just gonna knock these figures over. Uh, with Ray right here, he uh, his head spins. So he has a super scared face right in there. And uh, Winston, we just looked at. So, uh, so yeah, I think that's everything that's on this table. Again, this all came from one collection that I just picked up all at once. Um, that uh, I got from this right after I got the Firehouse and the Ecto One. So, um, getting getting to have quite a bit of a collection here for the real Ghostbusters, which is really really neat. Um, obviously, I've got some figures now that I can use for reviewing some of the other uh, vehicles and whatnot. You've already seen the review on the Ecto One. Um, I really want to get into doing the Ecto Two, the Ecto Three. I want to do the Ghost Sweeper and I want to do the the, uh, the Highway Haunter, that, that yellow Volkswagen. I want to do those four vehicles specifically. I know that I want to do those. Obviously, I want to do the Firehouse. If there's anything else here specific that you guys want to see a review of, let me know. Like if you guys want to see like an in-depth review on the Fright Features or the Screaming Heroes or the Super Fright Features or some of these ghosts. If you guys want to see these up close, just leave me a comment down below and let me know. So that's about gonna do it for this unboxing again. I know it wasn't so much of an unboxing, it started out as one, but again, it just got to be really, really long. Um, I get, I get, tend to be long-winded sometimes. As I'm taking everything out of the box, it just started to become a really long video, and then I ran out of time on the, on the video itself, it just cut me off. So I didn't really, I, I wasn't, at that point, I wasn't gonna put everything back in the box and start over. So uh, kind of like a different twist on an unboxing video, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, so let me know again if there's anything here in particular you want to see me review next. Let me know by leaving me a comment down below. Give me some thumbs up. Subscribe and share with your friends if you like what you see. And I'll talk to you next time.